Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I would like to share this interesting article about the, uh, with the title of the crazed brain pH and uh, pathophysiology in schizophrenia. And uh, this is the Art International Journal of Molecular Sciences, one of the MD, uh, one of the quite good MDPI journals. I say quite good because I really encountered encountered uh, that journal many, so many times. <clears throat> so, and it is not a it's a review study. It seems it's a review study, and um, the authors are from South Korea. And we can see there is an academic editor in this journal. Post mortem studies reveal that the brain pH in in schizophrenia patient is lower than normal. That's interesting. The exact cause of this low P pH is unclear, but increased lactate levels due to abnormal energy metabolism appear to be involved. <clears throat> and uh, the patients, schizophrenia patients, display distinct chains in mitochondria number, morphology, and function, and such chains promote anaerobic glucosis, elevating lactate levels. And pH can affect neuro neuronal activity as this, I think, element uh, binds to num numerous proteins in the nervous system and alters the structure and function of bound proteins. And uh, there is growing evidence of pH change associated with cognition, emotion, and psychotic behaviors. Brain has delicate pH regularity mechanism to maintain normal normal pH in neurons, glia, extracellular fluid and change in these mechanisms can affect or be affected by neuronal activities associated with schizophrenia. So in this review they discuss is, uh, how it is related to uh, schizophrenia and that's why it seems interesting they have a graph to explain things you can just change, look at this, like mitochondrial dysfunction related to anaerobic metabolism and the pH level is lowered and altered and then due to change in this level and altered dopamine glutamate transmission and led to schizophrenia. <clears throat> now that's interesting because it's unclear how it uh, plays such role, I guess, I don't know. So let's a more detailed figure, and um, so we cannot see full article, I guess. I think we can look at the view of full text or download PDF, and uh, this is the introduction and the, how they assess this article seems to be interesting. Decreased pain pH in patients with schizophrenia, and whether <clears throat> so, it's important to see that all the literature claims that it is decreased in patients with schizophrenia, and uh, the other mitochondrial dysfunction in schizophrenia. They mentioned this effects of low brain pH on neuronal activity in schizophrenia. That's interesting. And possible involvement of uh, this pH regulating proteins in schizophrenia. That's interesting. It seems. Well, that is quite a lengthy article. Model for pH involvement in schizophrenia. So, this they explain it here. And this is the conclusion. So, the average brain pH in in schizophrenia patients is lower than normal and it can affect numerous proteins essential for neuronal activity and has substantial, substantial impacts on vulnerability of cognitive symptoms in schizophrenia and uh, so that's interesting so that is uh, it can be used to understand if someone is having that disorder uh, more importantly and what what about the other disorders? So what about in the depression or in, is this really specific to schizophrenia or is this really a, a 
schizophrenia specific biomarker or something else like that's also important like for example they mentioned like BDNF but the, it is not only in schizophrenia it's also in other psychiatric diseases so in this context they should I think some should know that it's um, also compare uh, compared and, uh, and should explain really which part is really related and and by mentioning like that, it, it sounds like quite a causal effect, but it seems very interesting and, and quite original uh, article and combining uh, so many relevant studies in the literature to uh, support their hypothesis. And thanks for watching this video. I wish you uh, that article can help you. If you're interested in reading such um, articles, you can subscribe to this channel and you will be recommended. And and see you, bye-bye.